Here, we'll show you how to calculate the value of the acid ionization constant, Ka, for a weak acid of a given concentration. We're told that a 0.2 molar solution of dichloroacetic acid, CHCl2COOH, has a pH of 1.13, and we're asked to use this information to calculate the value of Ka for dichloroacetic acid. There are four main steps we can take to solve this problem. The first thing we do is we convert the given pH into hydronium ion concentration. We'll be using an ice table, and we need concentrations for that. The second step is to write the ionization equation for the given weak acid. The third step is to draw an ice table under the ionization equation and use it to calculate the equilibrium concentration of the acid and its conjugate base. In step 4, we insert the equilibrium concentrations into the Ka expression and calculate its value. So we'll start by converting pH to hydronium ion concentration. We use the formula the concentration of H3O plus equals 10 to the negative pH, or the antilog of negative pH, which is equal to 10 to the negative 1.13. And that comes out to 0 0.0741 molar. Even though the pH had two significant figures, we'll use one extra significant figure for this value and our calculations, then round to two significant figures at the end of the problem. So we can say that the concentration of H3O plus is 0 0.0741 molar. We'll make a note of that up here. The second step is to write the ionization equation for the weak acid CHCl2COOH. To write the ionization equation, we add water to the acid, and on the product side, we write H3O plus and the conjugate base of the weak acid. The formula for the conjugate base is obtained by removing a proton, or one H, and one positive charge from the acid. This gives us CHCl2COO minus, and this is called the dichloroacetate ion. The third step is to use an ice table to find the equilibrium concentration of the acid and its conjugate base. So we draw an ice table under the equation. And we draw a grid so that the columns line up nicely under the substances in the equation. Because water is a liquid, we put an X through the column underneath it. We'll color it blue here. We can start filling in the row for initial concentrations. The initial concentration of the acid is 0.2 molar, so we insert 0 0.200 in here. Some teachers prefer you to use the unit molarity for entries inside of the ice table. If this is the case, make sure you include these units in your work. In the ice table in our examples, we'll just write the values for the concentrations and we'll assume that all entries are molar concentrations. The square brackets around the I, C, and E indicate that all values are molar concentrations. Before any ionization occurs, the concentration of hydronium is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar, its concentration in neutral water. But this is insignificant compared to what it will be after ionization, so we'll just call it zero here. Before ionization, the concentration of the dichloroacetate ion is also zero. Because the concentrations of the products are initially zero, the reaction will move to the right as equilibrium is established. At this point, we recall that the equilibrium concentration of hydronium is 0 0.0741 molar. So we write in 0 0.0741 in the cell for the equilibrium concentration of hydronium. Now we'll focus on the column under the hydronium ion. The concentration of hydronium started out as zero molar and reach 0 0.0741 molar at equilibrium. So we know that as ionization occurred, the concentration of hydronium must have increased by 0 0.0741 molar. So we write plus 0 0.0741 in the change in concentration row under the hydronium ion. We can use this along with the coefficients in the ionization equation to determine the changes in concentration of the other two species as ionization occurs. The dichloroacetate ion is a product, so its concentration will increase as the ionization occurs. And the coefficients on the hydronium ion and the dichloroacetate ion are both 1. So we know that the concentration of dichloroacetate increases by 0 0.0741 molar 
just like the hydronium. Because dichloroacetic acid is a reactant in the ionization equation, its concentration will go down as the ionization occurs and the reaction moves to the right. So we'll write a minus sign here. The coefficients on dichloroacetic acid and hydronium are both 1. So as ionization occurs, the concentration of dichloroacetic acid goes down by 0.0741 molar. Now we can fill in the row for the equilibrium concentrations of all three species. We start with the dichloroacetate ion over on the right. Its concentration started out at 0 and increased by 0.0741 molar. So its equilibrium concentration is 0 plus 0.0741, which is equal to 0.0741 molar. Now we'll go over to the dichloroacetic acid on the left. It started out as 0.200 molar and went down by 0.0741 molar. So its equilibrium concentration will be 0.200 minus 0.0741, which comes out to 0.1259 molar. This is written to more significant figures than the final answer can have, but we'll use this number and round to the correct number of significant figures at the end of these calculations. We now have the equilibrium concentrations of all three species. And we now have what's necessary to carry out step four. We'll insert the equilibrium concentrations into the Ka expression and calculate the value of Ka. The Ka expression is the concentrations of the products over the concentration of the reactant, which is the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of dichloroacetate over the concentration of dichloroacetic acid. The equilibrium concentrations of hydronium and dichloroacetate are both 0.0741 molar, so their product in the Ka expression is 0.0741 squared. And the equilibrium concentration of dichloroacetic acid is 0.1259 molar, so we substitute that in here. 0.0741 squared divided by 0.1259 comes out to 4.4 times 10 to the negative 2 when rounded to two significant figures. The reason we're rounding to two significant figures is the original pH was given to two decimal places, which is two significant figures. So our final answer is the value of Ka for dichloroacetic acid is 4.4 times 10 to the negative 2. Mm -hmm.